This is renovating our new house, part one. My husband and I bought this home from the original owner. It was built 55 years ago and we instantly fell in love with it. It offers plenty of room to grow, both inside and out, and it's situated on almost two acres. Right away, we saw all the potential that this house has to offer, just with a little bit of updating. And most importantly, our dogs love it. The first thing on our agenda was removing the wallpaper, which there is absolutely no shortage of in this house. Next, we used a weed sprayer filled with some boiling water to remove the wallpaper backing and then chiseled away at it until it was no more. Next, my husband removed all of the door and window casings, followed by all of the baseboards. And you can check back tomorrow for part two. Hello everybody, we are back for part two of our home renovation TikTok series. This time it is the kitchen wall demo. This wall divides the kitchen and the dining room. And it was just begging to be opened. So <laughs> please enjoy the footage of that. And don't forget to check back for <laughs> Hello everybody, this is part three. Today we spent the day working on our bedroom. So here's some before photos, lots of wallpaper. We removed all of that yesterday. And then we started today off by cleaning our windows and taping them off, getting ready for some primer. As much as I love the wood, we're gonna be doing white baseboards. So I wanted them to match. Then we primed all of our walls and we were ready to paint. This is my husband wearing shoes. He wanted me to include that in here. He does have shoes. This is the painted room. We attached all the window fixtures and we started to remove the tragic blue carpet. And this is our current situation. Thank you all so, so much for watching and you can check back tomorrow for part four. Hello everybody, we are back for part four. This time we are making over our deck. We started the day off with my husband reluctantly building me a vegetable planter. Don't judge, okay? It was a quick fix. I kept nagging. Next, we took a trip to Lowe's. We went there for soil and ended up buying plants. I don't know. Isn't that always the way? When we got back, I took some time to work on the planter, moved all my vegetables over, watered them in, and then it was time to work on the deck. This furniture was left by the original owner, and this is me being essential. All right, now it's time to power wash. Of course, that is the best part. We put back on our furniture, cleaned it all off, got it ready to use, and then it was time to enjoy. Thanks for watching, part five coming soon. Hi everybody, we're back for part five. Today we were priming and painting our main floor. We started off by sanding and cleaning all of the walls and then it was time to prime. We primed all of the walls, especially the ones that had wallpaper. And then we headed to Home Depot to get a couple of things. Uh, we actually needed paint. So we got two different colors of paint and then we got distracted by lighting and bought two different lights for the house and then it was time to paint. We chose an off-white color for the entire main floor. I really love it. And we're gonna be doing a more of a tan color on the wall where the stairs are as kind of an accent wall. And I wish I had more to show you today, but painting took forever. Um, I should have more tomorrow. So you can check back tomorrow for part six. This is our current situation. And thank you so much for 55K. I thought maybe two people would watch. Okay, bye. <laughs> 
Hello everybody, we are back for part six, this time working on the bay window and accent wall. We started the morning off by removing the screens from the window as we are going to be painting the window white. We did some sanding, we taped it off, we also cleaned up our front door just to get ready for primer. We did some cartwheels and then we got down to business. I love how this window turned out. I think it looks so good painted white. We also freshened up our front door and then began working on the accent wall. Next, the old chandelier was removed uh, just to make way for our new one. And this is the completed look. We are gonna be changing out the railing and we will be getting our hardwood in the next few weeks. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, you can check back for part seven. Thank you, bye. Hi everybody, we're back for part seven, this time working on some kitchen design. We took a trip to Ikea, we waited in line for too long. And I don't know, I love a good Ikea kitchen. It kind of gets a bad rep, but we did it at our last home and I loved it then, so we're gonna do it again. Last time we did a black and white theme and we're actually doing it again. Uh, this time on a larger scale. I don't know, it's gonna be beautiful, just trust the process. A few hundred boxes later, we loaded up and we were good to head home. So after this lengthy Ikea trip, we just took some time to lounge around and enjoy the work we've put in already. I wanted to show you these frames I picked up though. I'm gonna be doing a gallery wall on the accent wall and in a few short weeks, we're gonna transform this kitchen into something beautiful. So thank you so much for following and tuning in. Part eight will be coming at some point tomorrow. And yeah, thanks guys. Okay, love you, bye. Hi everybody, we're back for part eight, this time doing some super exciting carpet removal. This carpet ran all over our main floor except for the bedrooms and bathroom. And it's actually the second carpet that's been in this house. The first one was replaced by the original owner. It had a lot of smells. It had two different under pads, so it was super squishy but it also had twice as many staples as usual. We spent several hours today just pulling out the staples, just plucking them out like eyebrow hairs. This is us chugging along, pulling each staple out one by one. Andrew reinforced the floor to get rid of any squeaks and then did some demo on our banister and railing. We're gonna be changing all this out in the upcoming weeks, and this is what we're left with. Uh, we'll get our hardwood floor this week, and thanks so much for following part nine tomorrow. Okay, love you, bye. Hi everybody, we're back for the long-awaited part nine. This is the hardwood floor install. We went with a six inch white oak engineered hardwood in three quarter width by the brand Beckham Brothers. And we started off by notching our door jams so that our new flooring would sit flush. We then cleaned the plywood, laid the paper, and began sorting through the new flooring. This flooring comes in various lengths, and if you're from the southwestern Ontario region, it can be purchased at Great Floors. You can look them up, and I'm so happy with it. We had a dark hardwood in our last home, and it really just showed everything. And flooring is not something we wanted to cheap out on, especially having dogs, so I really love how it turned out. This took all afternoon. And the final product. We still need our baseboard and window casing, but I really hope you guys like it too. And thanks so much for following. I'll do part 10 maybe tomorrow. Okay, love you, bye. Hi everybody, this is part 10. Today we're doing some kitchen demo. We actually hadn't planned on demoing this kitchen so soon. It was in really great shape, but with all the changes that we're making to the house, we figured we may as well just go ahead and do it. Uh, we're gonna live here for a really long time, so we might as well love it. So Andrew started off by removing the base and upper cabinets. He also removed the tile flooring on a different day. And because a lot of these cabinets were in great shape, we're actually gonna be reusing quite a few of them downstairs in our garage. He then removed the tile backsplash and then sawzalled this opening to make it a nice smooth transition. And this is what we're left with. Try not to be jealous. <laughs> I don't know when we'll have part 11. We're both going back to work this week, but thanks for following guys and I love you, bye. Hi guys, welcome to part 11. This is the installation of our kitchen pot lights. These clips took place over the last two days. So we started off by removing the excess wallpaper 
and then we measured out exactly where we want the pot lights to go. We're gonna be doing six pot lights and two pendant lights right above our island. Andrew drilled the holes for the new lighting and then took a trip up to our attic to run all new electrical. I don't know how any of this works. He was just born with this kind of knowledge. He removed the old ceiling fan. And this is the new lighting. Thanks so much for following guys. Again, I don't know when part 12 will be, but I love ya and I'll talk to you later. Bye. Hello everybody. This is part 12. It is a mismatch of a couple days. Andrew was doing some work in the kitchen, fixing the cracks and holes in the kitchen ceiling, removing the window casing, and then doing some new electrical for our range hood that we're gonna be getting soon. And I've got Handy Andy here to help me explain what <laughs> happens next. <laughs> the sink wasn't vented properly, so I had to cut the section of wall out and we discovered a rotten pipe. That's the vent, the main stack. So I decided to change the entire thing all the way down to the basement to black ABS pipe. That's strapped so it doesn't fall through the ceiling. There's the lovely pipe full of holes. That's me in the basement, finishing up the <laughs> plumbing. plumbing. And this is what we have. Thanks so much for following, guys. Uh, part 13 tomorrow.